less than two hours until they're quitting. Ah. Yo, 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 my people. It is finale day of the Sims 4 Bachelorette Challenge. Yes. Ah, so exciting. Okay, so today we're going to find out who our winner is and we're going to have a wedding and it'll be the end. How sad, but how awesome. So we're going to get started with a date with Faison and I just got a bunch of new packs, including get together. So we're going to go on a coffee date in Windenburg and I'm not going to make it an actual date because those are just the same thing over and over again every time. So we're just going to go on an outing with Faison and Keisha. Oh, but he's exhausted. Yikes. Hey, but it is a coffee date, so that might be for his benefit. Keisha will see you there. She better see me there. Okie dokie. Let's get on to Windenburg. I love Windenburg. I'm so happy. <laughs> so happy that I finally have it and can actually go there. I already went to the other cafe, so I'm gonna try this one. Okay, let's check it out. Let's start by getting coffee for both of us. Anybody here to get our orders? Anybody, anybody, anybody? Order drink. Um, why is it saying to go home? No, 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 no. Uh -uh. What is happening? Okay, order drink, please for here. I'm gonna get an espresso because that's pretty caffeinated. I feel like I don't know if that's the same in the game. Sorry if my game is kind of laggy. Oh no, I think <gasps> is that who is that? Oh, it's just someone who works there. Oh my gosh, it looked like one of the contestants. They're both ordering their drinks. Why are you behind the counter, lady? That's not where you order. <laughs> you don't you don't work here. You don't belong here. You don't own this place. What are you doing? Yep, there he goes, passing out <laughs> from not sleeping. So he's not even going to get his drink, and are they even going to get to talk? <laughs> At this point, I have no clue. Okay, let's check out this cafe, because I haven't been here. Oh, uh, and it's so cozy, too, coming when it's snowing in the winter. Uh, Beautiful. What does this place have going on? I don't know. I think I like the other one better from playing that away from the camera. Ooh, it has a second floor though. Bathrooms up there. Okay. Oh, little office. Ooh, that's cool. It's a nice little touch. Like, you know, whoever works here for a place for them. Is she getting food? Girl, I told you to get an espresso. Not a cannoli. Okay, where is Faison? Is he still out? Okay, he's up. Okay, dude, make a move. I guess you're not getting a drink. Sorry. <laughs> like... Let's just chat it up, work on our relationship, because this is your last chance. This is his last one-on-one -on -one time with her, and then he could be leaving and out of her life forever, or he could be with her forever. So for his sake, hopefully it's it's not the end of the line here, but it could be. Oh my gosh, here he goes passing out again. <laughs> well, Keisha, it looks like you're on your own on this date. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if Faison is up for the task of being his being his being her husband <laughs> if he can't even stay up and hear her talk and talk to her and get to know her better how do you think i'm gonna choose you to be my husband dude exactly i'm not <laughs> okay well honestly at this point it was a short date but i don't think it's going anywhere so i think case would be like okay dude clearly you're not interested i'm out of here i mean the girl really tried but he just was not not making it easy for us, was he? <laughs> Okie dokie, Keisha and Max turn for their last date before the final row ceremony. So one of the other packs that I got was Dine Out. I've heard that it's a little iffy, but I'm gonna check, take us to a restaurant. Oh, you know what? I don't have one placed. That's not gonna work. Ugh. Okay, so I've placed the Villa or Via Bovine. So we're gonna go there for dinner slash lunch, dinner. You yeah, know. Okay, here we go. The final date of the Bachelorette Challenge. I've never done any dine out things, so we're gonna have to figure this out as we go along. <laughs> Let's see. What the heck? It has her. That's Keisha. It has her as the waiter. What? <laughs> what? Ah, uh, the game must have just like pulled my Sims into the game. That's so weird. Okay, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna go see if I can just sit them at a table because clearly I can't ask to be seated. Let's Let's see. Oh, maybe it's this one. There we go. Request table. Finally figured it out. Okay. <laughs> go. Wait, is that Malcolm Landgrab? Uh, it totally is. That's really funny. I don't think he would be the host, but if you say so, Sims, if you say so. Oh gosh, it must be really windy out here. Oof, it's a blizzard. Ah, oh, poor girl. Please don't freeze to death. Also, Mac, why are you standing there? Come over here before you freeze to death because you almost froze to death last time. We don't need that happening. 
no, no, no. Okay, saved from death. Saved from death by freezing. I've heard this process can be take a while, so I don't know if this is gonna work how I want it to, but I'm gonna try to make it quick, but also try to get them to actually have a good time. So hopefully I can do that. Is this part of the problem? They're literally just standing there and it, they've been here for like two hours or something or an hour and a half. Come on, people, get it together. Let's go, let's go, please. Is this a joke? <laughs> like, what's happening? I'm gonna see if I can get them talking while we're waiting because this is cray. Okay, you know, their like normal friendship relationship is kind of lacking, so I gotta get that up too because they're pretty good on the romance. But you gotta be good friends with the person you marry, you know? You can't just be romantically involved. Ooh, okay, I think it's getting higher. That's good. You know, the romantic and friendship is catching up to each other. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I think if they don't sit down to eat by 8, we need to leave and just have the rose ceremony. It'll be two really disappointing dates if that's the case, but, you know, we gotta live our lives. We gotta, you know, get married, have futures, grow old together, have kids. Like, we can't just wait around to sit and eat forever. Aw, sentiment gained. You make my day so much better. Thanks for making me smile. I don't have my microphone, my earphones on. That's hilarious. I was just recording without my headphones on, so you didn't hear anything I just said. But essentially, my baby's fed. I'm pretty sure you heard him crying before I stopped recording. But I'm back. We're back at it. And somehow it's not the same time it was when we left. It was like almost 8 o'clock, and now it's not 8 o'clock. It's before that, and they're already sitting down to eat, so confused but whatever let's just go with it so now i wonder if they lost all their progress you know with the conversation i had them have before that'll stink oh okay so she just gets up and goes to the bathroom oh. lady you're supposed to be picking out what you're gonna eat this is my first time experiencing this whole process so i'm excited <laughs> i'm interested to see how this all works okay so you're supposed to go to the bathroom but you're just standing there lady what are you doing what are you doing okay so essentially her going to the bathroom brought us up to the same time <laughs> pretty much wait is it saying that they ate i'm so confused did something happen that i didn't know because it's saying here hot dinner date but we never ate but she just also cleared she cleared this thing is just confusing i don't know what's going on maybe they should just go home gosh girl that took you like two hours <laughs> okay well let's interact with mac please okay i say we go home now <gasps> oh he's trying to mistletoe kiss Get it, boy? You try that mistletoe kiss and succeed. <laughs> okay, home sweet home for the final rose ceremony. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, we're about to find out who Keisha's gonna get married to. Ah! So excited for her and for whoever her future husband is. Oh my gosh. Also, I'm just excited to see at this point if she chooses face in, then we know that, you know, it's not gonna be the same person as Taisha, the real bachelorette. But. If she chooses Mac, we'll find out very soon whether she ended up with the same person. Getting about a salad. Salad. Oh, I just dropped it on my computer. Okay, so we're taking the same approach as last time to this rose ceremony. We're just gonna go to each person separately. I'm gonna check right now to see their compatibility and then we're gonna find out who wins. Like, I'm actually so excited. I'm freaking out. Ah, uh, okay, here I go. So just because I say the next person's name does not mean that they're the winner necessarily, then maybe they are, maybe they're not. It's gonna be like the show where the first person comes on and then she says her whole spiel and then they start going down on one knee and then she either lets them keep going to propose or that doesn't happen. You know, I just realized they have to become, whoever it is, they have to become boyfriend and girlfriend first and then they have to propose, so yeah. Anyway, we're gonna start with Faison. Let's go to Faison. I'm just gonna like tap on his shoulder and be like, Faison, I need to tell you. I need to tell you something and, and thank you for the awesome guy that you've been. Yeah, so I'm gonna flatter him. Say, you've been such a great guy. You're amazing. We've grown so close during this time. Oh, he's tense. He's nervous. It's like, oh, how's this gonna go? Am I gonna get that rose? Am I gonna get to propose? Am I gonna marry this girl tomorrow? It's a strange way to decide to have this conversation. <laughs> I guess he's just that nervous about it. She's like, okay, I guess we are sitting down for this. So you're a great guy, but I'm so sorry. Can we just be friends? I'm sorry, it's not you. Did she do it? I don't think she did it. Erg. Do it. <laughs> do it. Break his heart. I'm just kidding. I'm not that cruel. Oof. I'm scared to see how he's going to take this. I don't think I've ever had to do this with anybody before. Oh. <laughs> That's the first time I've seen that happen in my game. Oh. 
Darn it, Keisha, don't freeze to death. Please, please, please go here. Keisha Adams and Face and Tick have decided to cool off their romantic relationship. Yep. Sorry, dude. So now, time to ask the man of our dreams. Or not ask him, but to tell him that he's the one we've chosen. Hey, buddy, wake up so we can tell you. And you can propose to us. Here's the moment. I guess we have to talk him up first, too. So we're gonna flatter him. Actually, we'll express admiration. Because it's more genuine, you know? It's like, this is... The real deal. She's gonna say, Mac, uh, I just have to tell you how much I appreciate you. This time together has been amazing and I just have to let you know how much I love you and how much I respect you as a man. And because of that, oh. will you accept this rose? Ah. Mac Park, will you accept yeah, yeah. my final oh. rose? Oh, no. Of course I will. Oh. Keisha, I almost said Taisha. And now we have to become boyfriend and girlfriend. What if somehow he said no? That'd be so sad because look, their relationship is so hot. Okay, so they're boyfriend and girlfriend. Time for the big proposal. They're so excited. Oh no, they're cold. I thought they were like, oh yes. But no, they're just cold. Okay, here goes proposal time in this random corner of the mansion. <laughs> I'm, I'm like gonna cry. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ah, so cute. Oh, I love them. I love them. They're amazing. Okay, now it's time to set up the wedding. I think. I think I can schedule an event for tomorrow. So I'm gonna try to do that. Oh yeah, something I thought of was like, we should totally invite everybody else, <laughs> all the other guys. I'm gonna do it. We're gonna do it at like 11. I think that'll be enough time to get both of their needs met. And also tomorrow is Winterfest. So what a magical day and just mm, everything. This is amazing. I love it. Okay, so we'll be back at their wedding huh? tomorrow. <laughs> Look at her bouncing. <laughs> Less than two hours until their wedding. Ah. Okay, here we are for their wedding. You can see I made it a little bit more Christmassy since it's Winterfest day. <laughs> Just Winterfest. I added some Christmas colored lights and some nutcrackers and a wreath on top of the arch. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here goes. I'm just gonna straight up do it because it is winter. I think it's freezing. Oh, that's the wrong guy. We were not marrying Faison. We're marrying Mac. Where's Mac? Oh yeah, and here she is in her lovely wedding dress, which I did not pick this dress for her. Hold up. Why is she in this dress? Okay, here we go, everybody. The magical moment. Finally. <gasps> <laughs> wow, Wait, where did his ring go? <gasps> he did it! They're married! Oh, I love the fireworks! Ah, my heart is so happy. Ah, they're married, they did it. Okay, everybody. Officially, our bachelorette has found the love of her life. Oh my goodness, how amazing. I just want to thank everyone for joining me on this journey. My first YouTube Sims series has been awesome, has been amazing. Thank you everyone who subscribed and who's joined along. Trust me, you don't want to leave yet. And if you're not here yet, you'll want to come along because I'm going to be starting build videos and more challenges. I have a challenge idea that I don't think has been done before, but I'm keeping it a secret until the first video comes out. But that's going to be probably a norm on my channel. Channel. So watch out for that. Subscribe if you haven't. Like and comment, please. Thank you again for being here, and also Merry Christmas. You see my my Christmas t my Christmas sweater. Been wearing it this whole episode. I hope you loved the ending of this season of The Bachelorette Challenge. Bye, y'all.